keeping with our Mother's Day theme, we are here with Ann Hewitt, who is the, um, she is a director with Beauty Counter. And if you don't know about Beauty Counter, it's all about clean, healthy beauty. And I'm going to let her tell us more about it. Anne, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So tell us about Beauty Counter and how, you know, how did you get involved and, and how does it work? Well, it's great to have this conversation while we're talking about mothers, because really that is what a huge inspiration was for me. Beauty Counter was founded eight years ago by a mom who had learned about some of the environmental toxins around her with her cooking and um, cleaning supplies and all that, but she couldn't find a brand that had healthy skincare and personal care products. And so she set out to create a new standard. And my mom raised my sister and me to eat healthfully and take care of our bodies. But we'd never learned about the ingredients that we were putting on our skin. So when I heard about Beauty Counter seven years ago, at the time, my daughter, I think was 12. And being a mom myself at that point, when I heard that I could improve that part of our environment and eliminate some toxins that way, it became really important to me to start studying a little bit more about it. So my mom kind of planted the seed and then my sister actually is the one that introduced me to the idea. And then being a mom is really what motivated me to study up on it more and learn a little bit more about it. So tell us about the products and tell us what makes them special. Well, there are some facts that I discovered seven years ago when hearing about it that really shocked me that your viewers and y'all may or may not know that the European Union has banned 1,400 ingredients from its personal care industry, while the U.S. has banned only 30. Whoa! Oh and, my gosh! Yeah, That's crazy. And only 80. There are 80,000 chemicals used in commerce, only 10 or 20 percent of which have ever been tested for long-term human health. Wow. So when I learned about those statistics, I was a little skeptical at first, did a little more research, and then a friend pointed out to me the impact that a little um, nicotine patch can have on the outside of your skin and how that those ingredients in that teeny little patch can cut down on, you know, lifelong cravings for nicotine or the birth control patch even that can change the most elemental function of a woman's body. So I started thinking about the the infertility and cancer and ADD and all the things that I was watching my loved ones struggle with and all that made sense. So back to the products, Beauty Counter is really founded on three pillars to formulate products to show consumers that they can be high performing and feel wonderful while also being created using safer ingredients. So the, the company has banned 1800 ingredients from its formulas. Mm. We also educate and raise awareness in the US and Canada just to help inform other people that are kind of the primary consumers, primary shoppers for their families so that they can make smarter choices. And we have what's called a never list that lists kind of the top top ingredients that you want to avoid. Um, and then we also advocate, which is the most exciting part because we don't have a pipe dream that everybody is going to buy products from our brand. We want to elevate the standards across the whole country. So we advocate on Capitol Hill and in California, actually, we, we advocate on a national and state level to elevate the standards over the whole industry. Um, so the products, we have skincare, body products, makeup. Um, we just launched a new deodorant. So mm -hmm. really kind of head to toe products, which are awesome. Well, that's so, I love what you're doing. Like the most famous example to me about this is like, if anybody's ever skeptical, just go back to Queen Elizabeth. Remember mm. how she, she was scarred from disease, had big pockmarks all over her face. And then maybe people, a lot of people don't know this, but 
she would wear this really heavy white makeup that was made with lead and vinegar mm. and it poisoned her over time. And that's what eventually killed her. Oh, you mean the old the original? Oh, original. not, not yeah. the one. <laughs> 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 That's a very good distinction. Yes, we should. I should definitely bring that up. Queen Elizabeth in the past. So interesting. Um, yeah, but I think that's super interesting. Mm. And because, like, I think the natural, you know, like the natural inclination is to be like, like you were, Anne, like a little skeptical going, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's made it through the FDA. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's fine, you know, or whatever. And, and not really looking into it and seeing, you know, what it could potentially be doing to our skin. Well, yeah. we, think about, we think about water, right? We think about water when we drink it. Like we wouldn't intentionally drink water that has lead in it. And mm -hmm. we, we don't want to drink unfiltered water anymore because we don't know what's in it. But we do put that stuff on our body and it does transmit through our skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, our skin is like a sponge. That's right. So and I used to so think much. about it as an armor and I have learned that it is a sponge. Yeah, that's, that's really so interesting. interesting. Yeah, my brother is a uh, dermatopathologist. So he got his um, he got his medical degree at Duke, and then he did a fellowship in pathology at Harvard. And one of the things I was talking with him the other day, actually, about absorption studies. It was a very fascinating conversation. Probably not a typical hmm. conversation that sisters and brothers have together. But we were going really deep into absorption studies and how absorbent, like when you're um, when you're looking at a skincare product, because the, we had some uh, strong interest in skincare, when you're looking at that kind of a, a product, you have to do these like clinical trials and to really do a good job, you need to have this absorption study. And up until that point, I had never really even thought about your skin being absorbing, like, and having like, um, absorbing into your bloodstream. And that was really, you know, two months ago is the first time I was ever really introduced to that concept. So interesting. Very, well, and Amy, if you remember, a couple years ago, we had uh, David Schmidt on with the phototherapy patches, and he talked about mm -hmm. just go outside and stand in the sun. Right. And see how the sun will, you know, it goes through the skin to tell the body what to do in terms of creating vitamin D and, you know, the whole, the whole information transfer system that goes from the environment through your skin to your body. So it makes so much sense. It's not just our food. It's what we put on our bodies as well. Yeah. And I love the way that you said that you used to think of your skin as armor and now you think of it as a sponge. I think that's really insightful change. How mm -hmm. of it. So I know and um, Beauty Counter is a it's a network of of women who are selling the product, but there's also a website that has a retail outlet where viewers can go and learn more about the products, learn more about the company. Tell us a little more about how viewers can, can find you. Well, that is one of the neat things about the company too. Not only are we shaking up the beauty industry, we're also kind of shaking up the way these traditional organizations have worked. I've, I can't remember, I think 80% of the business is brought in through independent consultants, but we also have retail locations and a retail website, as you mentioned. So there's a store at Abbott Kinney and there's one in Soho and one at the milk, uh, what's it called? The milk, it's not the milk market in Denver. Um, so people can actually walk in a store and sample the products there. We also, as you asked, have a, a company website, just beautycounter.com. And then if anybody I would like to try. Yes. I Pardon? Cannot. The website itself is beautiful. Oh, it is. And one another thing that I love about it, one of the biggest things that sets this company apart is its transparency. So you can find all the ingredients listed there. You can find information about our commitment to sustainability and to opening up our supply chain and auditing the companies and suppliers from whom we get our vanilla and our mica, because those are huge industries that are really um, damaging people and the planet. It's a B Corp. So our bottom line takes into account people, planet and profit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but if so people can shop on their own, there are advantages to working with a consultant because you get insider tips on what products work well together. And you know, you can get a consultation. And um, I've loved the relationships that I've built with people over the years. That's been 
I was a CPA in my past and sat at a desk by myself for most of the day. So this has been a really fun new career to be able to build relationships with people and um, really grow that trust. So you can do whatever. Able to do that, to go from one, like using, now I bet it's so much more creative. Is mm-hmm. totally different sides of your brain, right? Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's what I love. That I've been so deep in technology. I'd love to just. I would. I need to talk to you. I, to <laughs> I love you it. Got, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. I I knew when I was doing counting. I love details, and I do think that there's a lot of detail in what I do now. Um, so it's interesting to see how that prepared me for what I'm doing now, but I love the interpersonal relationship part of what I do. Well, and as women, I think we we are inclined toward relationship building, and we're also inclined to try to find great gifts for our mothers and friends for Mother's Day. <laughs> yes, so. which is what I will be doing right after this call. We will, I will be going to Beauty Counter and looking for gifts for my mom. So. Exactly, exactly. And thank you so much for joining us today. This has been super. We really appreciate it. Well, y'all are wonderful to invite me and um, I love the relationships that I'm building with y'all. So thank you so much for having me. That's great. Okay, thank you and we'll be right back.